My name is William Kankwamba. I'm from Malawi, Africa. I'm co-author of The Boy Who Harness the Wind. As a 14-year-old boy from Malawi, Africa, William Kemkwamba constructed a windmill that provided the only source of electricity to his family's village. Kemkwamba sat down to talk with us about his motivations and future plans. I have like a passion of learning and understand how different things work. So when I talk about my grandmother is that um, in Malawi there's this uh, division of job job has been like divided in among genders. There are some jobs that are considered to be man's job and some jobs that are considered to be women's job. So my grandmother started like making bricks, which is considered to be man's job. Making bricks to build a house, it's really a tough job. She was doing it by herself. A lot of people started asking her, why are you doing this instead of your husband? So she say, uh, when your jacket caught fire, you don't wait for someone to put it off. She was referring that when you are in trouble, you are the one who first noticed the troubles and you are the one who can start finding the way to get out of troubles until other people, other people come and help you to get out of that troubles. I should do something to get out of this problem that I am in. So by the by the way of doing that, then other people might come and help me uh, to, uh, to, pull my, to pull me out of this trouble. But if I don't do anything, no one else will do something to me. That's what drives me to do what I did. For me, I saw that uh, education was my savior because I've seen so many people in my community who are farmers. They are, they are farmers not by choice, but they are farmers because there's nothing else they can do. So for me, I wanted to be, to determine my life, not by what I can do and what I can't do. So that's why I thought that um, getting education, I can be able to do so many things that will be able to help my life. And also if I'll, be, I'll become a farmer, which is not a bad thing at all, but I can be a farmer that can be able to know exactly what type of crops to plant, and to understand the market of that, if I'm growing a cash crop, how much do I need to put in and how much am I accepting to get from that uh, product? Things like that, they are little like important to farmers, which most of the farmers in my community don't have such type of skills. They just farm because that's what they have to do. So I wanted to, do, uh, to be able to know exactly uh, what I'm doing uh, when I'm doing it. That's why I thought that having education can be able to um, to guide me through that process of either it's farming or either I'll be doing some other work or working somewhere else. Then at the end, I should be able to know and love what I'm doing. Because uh, sometimes people just uh, give up on their dreams because they don't have a hope on what they are doing. So like giving people hope, they, it's kind of like courage in the way that everyone feels that he, if some, everyone else has like hope in him or her, then they can achieve some other important things that will be able to benefit from their lives or families. That's why um, I must like emphasize um, the importance of like um, giving hope. So uh, my goals for the future, I want to um, finish my education and go back to Malawi and start applying the knowledge that I'm gaining right now uh, to solve some of the problems that people are facing. So if there will be, um, if I'm getting some knowledge that it's easily applicable to some situation in my community or my area in general, then I'll be, I'll be happy to use that knowledge uh, to deal with some consequences that people are kind of like facing. Now, just like to finish with the like um, encouraging um, other people that um, sometimes in life we face so many challenges. Challenges are there not to stop us from achieving what we want to achieve, but are there to encourage and strengthen us to um, to grow uh, 
bigger on what we want to achieve. So whenever you have a dream, don't give up until you succeed.